All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, everybody, to the Collecting Brothers. I'm John. This is Josh. Okay, let's jump over to SH Figure Arts. We got a full solicitation of that uh, DBZ cover homage 40th anniversary of Dragon Ball so, uh, with the uh, Chibi Shenron, Shenron and the Kid Goku, man. Really just paying homage to that cover, which is beautiful, man. It's going to be $73. Currently, it is exclusive to V Jump magazine subscribers. So if you're subscribed to that magazine, there's going to be an issue here later on that has an order form inside of it. You take that out, rip it out, order it if you want it, and then you get the figure back. They did. Now, this is like only for people who live in Japan, right? We talked about kind of it's exclusive to Japan. They did mention here, though, that a later water release will be coming later, but they're doing that a little bit of an exclusive there for that's really good, man. That's really good to hear. Cause man, this looks beautiful. Like, you know, even like, you know, there's sometimes there's figures that transcend the action figure community. And I feel like this is one of them. I feel like with the base, with the homage to the manga, V jump stonks, dude, they went off the rails when they showed this. Like, I feel like people even who don't collect who are just Dragon Ball fans, you know, and there's so yeah. many of them. It's like one of the most iconic anime out there just to have this as a centerpiece. I feel like everybody's going to want this. Yeah, like this is like you can sit this in front of your manga books that you have or maybe your DVD, DBZ collections. Like this yeah. is just so perfect, man. That Shenron is just like the cutest thing in the world. Right. I think, it, I think it helps too because it's like, you know, a normal person is not going to want a foot tall Shenron. You know, it's just, or a keep like, yeah, you know, like <laughs> we want that. But a normal Dragon Ball fan is like, where am I going to put this? So I think this is perfect for like the non collector. Mm hmm. Yeah, just like the more of the general consumer of Dragon Ball. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, here's everything you're getting with him, though. Like a bunch of hair pieces, two face sculpts, three, sorry, four face sculpts. His little, looks like he comes with batons, his bow staff, of course. And then all those fun, fun hands, dude. Yeah, this is, this is, this is amazing. And yeah, you, can get, you can get a lot of combinations because if you think about it, like there's three bangs and then two back hair pieces. So you get a lot of combinations with that. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's keep going. SH Figure Arts giving us a king from Tekken. This guy was teased, right? But it's fun to get this guy fully revealed. And he's looking fun, dude. Like, a lot of cool intricacies in his armor pieces. The feathers have a really cool, like, gradient in the, the paint job. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it looks good, dude. And, uh, yeah, like, look at the lacing on his boots. Put in some work on this figure, man. Yeah, they knocked it out of the park. Everything from sculpt to paint to proportions. You know, I like that the head is small as it should be, you know, like when right. I get what this character has a small head and they represented it perfectly. Here he is doing a cold stone stunner. Boom. <laughs> so yeah, I think they did a really good job. Dude, even look at that, even sculpt on the bottom of the boot. Like, you see that with the paw print? Oh yeah, that's true. Attention Dang. to detail. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, they did a really good job on this. Um, the cape is going to have an articulate, it's going to be articulated to get that kind of aesthetic to go uh, around it. But yeah, dude, just, insane details on this king figure and maybe they just put it more a little more attention into him because he is you know more a little more popular he's the cover he's the cover yeah exactly <laughs> so i mean gotta get gotta give the cover boys uh, yeah so, so really cool man yeah i thought this was a fun fun announcement and a reveal all right so let's keep it going sh figure arts we got that full solicitation for the last dance venom it's gonna be 80 dollars here and again he was looking good in those photos that we saw and he's, he's looking, he's still looking good here, man. A lot of fun articulation, tendrils. This is good. This is cool. How much is this? 80? 80. You know, usually figure arts can justify, I feel like, the price because the, the quality from them and a Hasbro figure is worth it. But for some reason, when it came to Hasbro, Hasbro's Venom and Carnage, they went off the chart with those figures. Like, honestly, if you do a side by side comparison, of course, the size is going to be different. Mm -hmm. But like the wetness, the lines, the details, the sculpt. I feel like the Legends is so good that even though maybe the figure arts maybe is like 5% better, it's like, why would you pay four times as much for 5% better, right. you know? Yeah, yeah. So like, this is good, but it's like the Legends was so good that Legends is the bang for your buck. I'll say that right <laughs> now, guys. Yeah, that, that original Venom, right? Uh, figure. Yeah. Oh my gosh, one of the best figures. Yeah, and they re-released it as a Target exclusive with like some head tendrils yeah. right now for their movie. I think the proportions on that one are like spot on with uh with Venom from yeah. You know you're right. I think they're even better than this one because I feel yeah. like this one 
the sh- the shoulders should be broader or the thighs should be thinner because I feel like he has more triangular build, and mm-hmm. this one's kind of more not as much triangular. Like I, need, I need a little more girth on the on the lower rib cage to kind of get that silhouette because here it kind of comes in too quickly yeah. and then juts out. Like I want that, like you know, like you were saying, triangle, right? That gradient. You're right. Yeah, and and then the Marvel Legends Carnage was just so big, man. That thing was, I think, was nice. Yeah. <laughs> so. But yeah, there is that it's each figure. So there's a little bit of a size comparison in it here for like a normal figure arts figure. He is gonna be a big boy. It's a big boy. All right, let's jump over to Mayfix. Mayfix is giving us full solicitation for everyone's favorite Jubilee here. Jubilee in that soft goods trench coat, dude. I love it, man. Rebel, who's it? Is it Rebel One Customs? Yeah, Rebel One Customs has been doing soft goods uh, Jubilee capes for a while. Uh, but that is, you know, for the Marvel Legends. But we're getting this for, from Mayfix here. And honestly, I love how matte and pastel the colors came out for Jubilee here, man. Yeah, there really is nothing to complain about. Like, I think it's executed perfectly. Soft goods where you want them. Hard plastic where you want them. Sculpt where you need it. Sculpt where you don't. Effect pieces. Face looks great. Even getting blue highlights in the black hair. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's just for me, this is the perfect figure. Like, I'm willing to pay 80, 90, whatever this, this however this much cost. I don't yeah. care. It, it looks really, really good. I think they did a really good job here. And it being Mayfix, it's going to move nice and buttery smooth. And I think especially because, like, you know, kind of like the opposite with the Venom. Sometimes when you have a more of a lackluster legend or some like it's hindered, mm-hmm. when an import makes it, it's even like it's amplified it in its betterness. It's amplified because it's like, you know, the other one, it was kind of traffic going because of the thing and like, um, yeah. The arms could never lay down because they would always hit the coat because the coat's on right. top of it, you know? And right, so I always right, felt right. kind of cumbersome playing with that figure imposing it. Um, and so now when I just look at this, I know I'm not going to have those issues. And uh, it's just yeah. phenomenal. And look at look from these, look, you get little side hips there. You get that up and down. You get straight up and down, right? Yeah, like it's going to it's gonna be nice. It's going to be good. So glad Jubilee's coming out. They're continuing that line too. <laughs> All right. Let's take it around the net. Last up here, friends. We're getting a Metal Slug 1 12th scale LV Armor mech suit, dude. This thing is going to be big, bulky. I love it. Those tiny legs, I don't know how they're supporting this whole entire figure. Um, but it comes with a lot of cool accessories, too. It comes with, like, effects. Get all the fun things. And I love yeah, the, yeah. the playing homage to the video game, right? I know. I like how it's like the gun is going up and down. Like yeah, the yeah. bullets, the spray is going up and down like you would yeah. in that's all it did right it was yeah. a side scroller so really cool uh, even if you're not a metal slug fan like i feel like it's a fun little mech suit here you know this is a little chibi-esque but that's metal slugs kind of vibe but i think it's it's fun man go with this with like a, i don't know I, I would like to see if they if they do if they're making vehicles be cool if they did the tank honestly i would have preferred that like i would have mm. i feel like that that one they should have did the tank first with the treads you know little triangle treads yeah or iconic i think for metal yeah. Come, you know, it doesn't have to be big, right? It's chippy form, so it's nice and compact like this thing is. So, but yeah, this is fun. I like mechs, and so I wanted to throw this in here. Love yeah, you like mechs, and you like yeah. Metal Slug. Yeah, <laughs> it's a perfect, perfect for me, right? All right, friends. Well, I'll go ahead and wrap up our show for today. Thank you all for tuning in. All right, friends, let us know down below your pick of the week. And as always, keep collecting, keep playing. May the action figure gods smile upon you. Peace. Peace.